Hello, welcome back to the Rogue Tech Campaign. It's episode 37, and we're nearly bankrupt. Dun dun dun. Nah, I'm just kidding. We are totally fine. Let us continue picking up the hard missions. So we have Breakthrough on the Brink, a Defend Base for lots of money. Or Hard Target and Assassinate for lots of money. I'm always tempted by assassinations. Let's do it. And we're off. Wow, I actually lose money on the drop here. I didn't actually uh, take enough credits, sea bills, to cover my drop costs. Oops. But let's face it. I should be able to capture and sell something. I'm only uh, not selling things because uh, I want to fill my victory bays in order. <laughs> it's so neurotic. <laughs> it's so OCD. <laughs> you can't rearrange your mechs. It's really annoying. So I've got this lovely situation where I have lights followed by mediums and heavies and then I'm going to have like a bay of assaults. And if I have to sell something, it's going to break that 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 beautiful setup that I've worked myself into. Wouldn't that suck? Right, this is another one of these double reinforcement assassinations. Okay, where are they? Okay, that's the assassination target there. Supporting forces are over there. Now the question is... I'm like right on the edge of the map here. Directly in front of us. Oh, the reinforcements are down there. Supporting forces are there. The reinforcements are down there. That's where we're going to go. Makes sense to me. Take the reinforcements out first. And let the rest come to me. Get in here, sweep in, sweep in underneath behind this mountain. You got it. Be there in a jet. Heading out. Hopefully not get surrounded. Like seems to happen in so many of my engagements. They're meant to be down here. Supposedly. Affirmative, Commander. Oh. We've got an unknown on sensors. That sounds like a sensor blip noise to me. not even on the map how can I engage them if they're not on the map oh this sucks can they shoot at me even though they're not on the map I, uh, presume that they can Can I shoot at them? Even though they're not on the map? What are your orders, Skipper? Awaiting orders. 
Where's the other enemies? They are closing in. Well, the assassination target's not moved. I, I genuinely am not sure what to do. I want to move to engage, but if they just stand there and I can't close the distance, that puts me in a world of hurt. gonna hide down here in this ditch just hide 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 until the enemies are actually on the map and I can do something about them. Okay. Waiting for the shot. An eighty ton, a hundred ton. Well, they're certainly closing in. Can I attack them? I can. Okay, I'm allowed to attack them. But my melee mech will not be able to get close enough because of the barrier. I need to waste another turn. This is horrible. Ready for orders. Yes, Commander. That's not a clean shot, no matter what I do. Ah, oof. We have to waste one more turn. I need them closer. Thirty-five ton. It's going to be a Jenner, or uh, maybe one of those special commandos. How can we help? Certainly. Okay, the assassination target is also a hundred tons, that's good. Yes. By good, that's really bad, but you know, whatever. Okay, I'm going to have to engage next turn no matter what. The least you could do is be kind enough to get on the map, Jesus. Is that behind me? Tanks? 35 ton mechs and a tank. I'd almost be tempted to just bloody leave these idiots here until they actually get much closer. 
and engage this lot. But this is just leading me into a friggin' enemy sandwich, which I am the delicious filling. Let's get around the mountain. Whatever. We'll move here and use all of this mountain as protection while I cream off these. Ready for orders. Can you get me spots? What am I looking at? Ah, uh, this is not the hugest threat, you know. Two vehicles, no matter what they are. A 35 ton mech and the assassination target is just standing there. Forget it. We leave them for now. We hide behind the mountain. I never thought I would be outdone by the wall. <laughs> of the map. The map border would be my greatest foe. How might I help? Uh, anyone? Shot? From anywhere? Maybe? Uh, I'm not sure I want to shoot at the assassination target yet. He might decide to, f to leave. <laughs> You know, like the assassination targets running away. Why did you spook him with your giant LRM sandwich boat? It's a king crab. Oh god, it's a king crab. <laughs> I just saw the flash of a crab. Enemy also reserved. Okay, cool. Waiting for orders. You have orders? Sweet, you can get a shot. And that means that so can you. Um Here. Oh my god, it's a demolisher. Mark 2. That needs to die. Right now. In fact, let's vigilance because the last thing I want is to friggin' take four of them in the face. Just in case the AI decides that the next turn it wants to take is the demolishers. Because I need one more mech to make sure he doesn't live. Okay, cool. What is the plan? The plan is missile sandwich. If the Black Knight has not got a shot. Which it doesn't. So the plan is missile sandwich. And I don't care if this is wildly overkill. Four AC-20s. That's all I need to say. I'm not even sure it's wildly overkill. Kill it! Whew! Ha! Oh, sweet relief. Jenner. It's a Jenner with one evasion token. That's not very clever now, is it, Jenner? Firing. 
Oh! Nice. Okay. While those idiots are deciding as to whether they want to enter the map or not, I will clean up this side support. Then go in and kill the crab. We'll get the crab claw out. What is that? LRM carrier? It smells like an LRM carrier. Some more hundred ton vehicles. Well, one's eighty. Here comes the crab. Missed. Tag? Systems holding. I wonder if I can get in there and assassinate that crab right right here and right now. Wow, he moved, shot me, and then he moved again. And he shot again. What? Qua? Qua? He moved, he shot me, then he moved again. Did he have a fight? Did he have an initiative one go? I guess he was reserved into initiative one and went last. Okay, everyone's got like super evasion right now. Let's let the enemies get closer. It gives me more options. Even the LRM carrier is going to do nothing against that amount of evasion tokens with vigilance. the only one who I think I think you're the only one who can get a visual no okay you can get a visual uh, who else can get a visual aha this will do Tactical positioning. Simple as that. Oh, he survived. They both barely survived, but they will not survive the follow up. Ready for orders. Um, yes, Commander. Here we go. Um, just want to get that positioning right. Actually, this positioning is okay. should be able to kill the LRM carrier with just one burst of LRM 15 should be plenty and then stick the rest into the Jenner and that should reduce those two we can focus on the crab and not be interrupted Come on, keep it going, keep it going. Solid connection on that. Wow, he survived. I don't know how he survived, but he survived. Need something, Chief? Standing by. Um, yeah, let's just have a cool off turn. Wait for this crab to get a bit closer.
take the primary weapons off. Don't need flamers. Let's not use any heat generating weapons because it's not necessary. <laughs> There's nothing left. Poor Jenner. That, my friends, is what we call genocide. Oh, come on, crap. What's that about? It's a very cowardly way to play. Come back here and fight me. This is going way way better than I thought it would after I got sandwiched. It looks like the enemies that aren't on the map are just sitting off the map, constantly sensor locking me. Now all I gotta do is just get into a position where I can unload on this crab. Because the vehicles, they haven't got jump jets. So what are they gonna do down there? Nothing. They're gonna have to drive. Like where's the edge of the map? It's here, right? So they're gonna have to drive like down here. And then all the way up here. And this is all rough terrain. That is gonna take forever. If there was ever an argument against vehicles, it's that. Oh man, I could just DFA his sorry ass. I mean, this mech was designed for DFA. Could DFA him in the rear. That would be especially bru brutal. In fact, I can't actually DFA him anywhere else. Here we go. Let's go! Surgery can begin. Oh! Oh! Brutality. We will not capture the crab. But we did kill it. We killed it big style. Okay, not that they can really do anything, but let's go and kill these vehicles, shall we? Let's go complete those secondary objectives. I was kind of hoping with the crab that I would like rip the left or right torsos off, but instead I just ended up turning the thing into uh, bits. Nothing left. Gotta love it when an evil DFA plan comes together. And you see, the legs have not taken huge damage. 74. So I could, in theory, DFA twice without ever risking structural integrity. By the way, it said pilot incapacitated, but that looked to me like a CT kill, so I'm not quite sure what happened there. Unless there was like an ammo explosion in the CT. What's the plan? Not quite sure. Okay, we have a clean shot on the Demolisher Mark II. Bombs away. Well, that looked like it hurt, and by hurt, I mean he's dead. Now we've got to go and deal with the weird squad of goons that are currently sat on the edge of the map, being like, I don't know, being odd. There they are. 
I wonder if like if you've ever been on a mission where you could not work out where the enemies were. Maybe they weren't even on the map. Maybe that was the answer. Where is the evac zone? Oh, okay. Somewhere stupid. Although at least it's not towards the enemy like it usually is. So there is that. Um, they're over there, right? The salvage table is not got a lot of loot in it right now, anyway. And I took full salvage, so. Vehicle, 80 tons. Well, if the demolisher couldn't take it, I'm pretty sure whatever this is can't take it either. Oh, it's the old shrieker. Missiles away! Yeah, you're dead. How much morale can you have? Jesus, 36% is all we're all we're at. Makes you wonder what it's out of in Rogue Tech. You. Jump! A full jump actually slightly heats this mech. Despite it not having any heat generating weapons. Jump jets, if you use them to their maximum, are super hot. I'm not really sure what this mech can do because it's melee based and we are not about to melee anything <laughs> when they are not on the map and therefore out of range of my melee weapons because of the the yellow line of indivisibility or something I guess my LRM boat is going to be very busy. They're not even moving. Why aren't they moving? I'm so confused. Is this like a bug? I guess it's a bug. Also, you get an evac zone, right? But if you withdraw and you've completed the mission objective I just I don't really I don't get what the difference is what's the difference between reaching the evac point and leaving and just withdrawing it's very confusing conceptually Okay, you know what? You just want to AFK down there, that's totally fine. Because you're not going to have any evasion tokens when I shoot you. Repeatedly. Just as soon as I get vision on your sorry asses. Ah, uh, I don't even know what to say. This is such a weird... This is such an absurd situation. I'm here, and I'm getting ready to fight enemies that are completely bugged out, or they, they appear to be bugged out. Are they just gonna stand there and let me pummel them to death? Is that the possibility? Um, no. Nope. 
here. Okay. So there's the victor. Who I can pummel with SRM4s. And he's just stood there like a melon. Ugh, I just, I don't, I don't get it. I'm trying to understand in my brain somewhere why the AI is doing this. It's like the guy from Dumb and Dumber or something. You know what, if you're just going to stand there, I'm just thinking we just shoot at your head constantly. <laughs> oh man. That's just, that's excellent. That's everything wrong with the world and everything right with the world. Truly beautiful. And they're just going to carry on standing there. Well, that is... This is pleasing to me. Let us move forward with the melee mech that can't actually get in range. Good thing we uh, stuck some SRMs on, huh? I am just going to pick their heads off. One by one. Because why not? Even even the LRMs are going to aim for the head. Now, of course, the most head damage I think I can do with LRMs is like four hits. But I'll take four hits. If I get four hits. just to soften the head so that I can deliver the next headshot. Headshot. Okay, 65%, but who cares? Oh! This is just... This is so wrong. I know Thunderbolt. Requesting a headshot. Oh! Oh! We got two good solid head, head connections there. You absolutely, absolutely cannot stand still in this mod, in this game. Maybe they haven't got jump jets. I just figured it out. There's no path. This is a dead end. There's, there's no path. They haven't got jump jets. They can't get out of this, this valley. So they're just going to sit here and wait for death. I love it. I'll take your loot. And your head. And your life. I don't believe for a second that the headshot chance is 9%. <laughs> Seems to be a lot more than 9% if you ask me. Just waiting for someone to tell me that it's confirmation bias in the comments. What is the last enemy? Oh, it's a Mackie! Excellent. I needed a piece of Mackie to complete my collection. Wow, that was a whole lot of headshots there considering how many missiles I fired. Bombardment. Yeah, 
General, we have a clogged LRM nozzle. Give us a second to fix it. <laughs> I love that game. Oh, he ejected. Just as well, really. Man, that game, that match, it didn't even feel good. It was just like... At first I was in a sweat because I couldn't get at the enemies because they were off the map, which is dumb. And then I thought, well, I have to change my strategy on the fly and I wasn't sure if it was going to work. And then it just turns out that that enemy team didn't have jump jets and were caught in a valley where they could not escape. So it's nice to know that that like ultra arse grade level <laughs> tactical positioning doesn't just affect me. Well would you look at all this stuff. Oh my. Right. That will complete a victor which is why I'm taking it. And that will complete a Maki. I suppose we could just take the King Crab piece, maybe. You know, I could just take the complete Maki and be like, next time, next time. This is against policy for me. Normally, I would, um,. I would always take the heaviest stuff, so I'd take one King Crab bit and three Mackie pieces. That is that is what my normal pick would be. But I want to complete the victor. So I'm going to complete the victor. This adds two completed mechs to my system. Leaving me with just one more to get to win. Oh man, that's nice. No recoil, less evasion penalty PPC, that's nice. I mean, there's just a whole lot of nice things here and a whole lot of heat sinks. Look at these computers, these would be lovely as well. Well, let's see what we get. Roll the dice! We got three pieces of Mackie. Three pieces of Thunderbolt, completing the Thunderbolt, which will be immediately sold for cash money. Four pieces of Victor, completing the Victor. And a missile targeting computer, though not a great one. Outstanding. No crab, but, you know, that would just be pure greed at this point. I just walked away with like 15 million Seabills worth of stuff there. And I'm not talking like in in uh, crazy whatever C bill counter currency. It's like real hard cash. I could scrap them and get that money right now. And we're only 38 minutes in to the episode. We could do another mission. We could end it here and now. This could be the end. Sweet. That mech you asked for, it's cleared for fighting. Sweet. So, um, we, we're 40 minutes into the episode here. This might be a short one, I think. Instead of doing a second contract that would probably push us over quite badly. We're going to get cleaned up. Let's get some accounting done. So, this is money. Simple as that. That's my contract payment right there. Boom. We have a victor, or what's left of one. Once again, just going to repair it. Maybe do something with it later. Maybe not. 
no real need to do anything with it, let's be honest. Oh, right. There's nothing left of it. <laughs> it's empty. Cool. Fine. Yes, acceptable. In fact, the repair work on these bad boys might might push me back into bankruptcy projected. Uh, pretty close, actually. Let's have a look at what's going on with the Mackie. This is, in the lore, historically the first battle mech ever made. It's an antique with primitive armor and primitive everything. But in this game it's some sort of strange monster. Well, it only has nine, uh, twenty nine point five three tons, so it's not exactly fantastic, is it? Oh, wait, what? Okay, it's got a wrong class jump jet fitted for some reason. Actually, leave the heat sink in because that's going to cost more time. Okay. Twelve days to get it fixed. It's junk! It is junk mech. But it is an Omni mech for some reason, even though it's the furthest away from an Omni mech you could possibly get, but you know. Whatever. Whatever. Roll with it. Okay, let's finally do some t some proper tidy up. I haven't been to the store in I don't know like ten episodes and sold things. I have millions and millions and millions and millions of sea bills worth of mech bits, but there's no point in selling them. It's better to just keep doing missions and then scrap stuff you don't want. Right, let's go with weapons first. AC-10, we will never use. AC-2, we will never use, no matter how good it is. In a game that has rotary weapons, why would you want ordinary ones? ER large lasers, I can probably find a use for that. Ordinary flamers are garbage because of the... Um, you can buy the the three plus ones, which are twice as good for the same weight. Okay, gorse rifle. I'll keep that. Haywire EMP. I've never found this to be that exciting. Three tons generates a little bit of heat on the enemy as well. Scrambles their guidance systems. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Or how badly that affects an enemy. But anyway, I don't have many, so whatever. Right. The world in which I need 23 cans of LRM ammo is a strange one. I don't want normal LRM systems. I will never fit them. On the grounds that they're crap. And you have to pretty much specialize a mech to fire LRMs with many targeting computers which I do not have. That's a damaged medium laser I'll just sell. And we will also this scrolling is very annoying, but this the scrolling is fixed in version 1.1, thank god. Let's get rid of a load of these medium lasers, they're not needed. Um I actually don't have many other things. Jesus, look at all this SRM ammo, that is not necessary. SRM2s, no matter how good they are, like as in no matter how many pluses they've got, 
will never be any good. Let's get rid of the damaged SRM ammo. I can't be bothered to fix that. I've collected a lot of SRM6s. It doesn't really seem necessary, but I will keep some because they are useful. These streak missile systems are amazing, but they're very rare. This is another missile system that I've not really... I don't I don't feel it. I don't really uh, I'm not really understanding it. So for 12 tons you get 80 damage and two hits. It's effectively an LRM 20, but it doesn't do billions of shots. I don't know. I think it has a place. These are my rotary auto cannons. These are actually pretty good weapons, so we will keep them. Equipment and boy do we have a lot of spare equipment. I always wanted to do these arm mods on a mech at some point. I was hoping to capture a Banshee because it's not like the Banshee has got the hard points or the tonnage to be anything but a melee mech. I don't really get these EWS modules. I've never... I've equipped them and I've never felt like they do anything. Six damaged heat sinks. I've got so many normal heat sinks, I can't imagine the world in which I want damaged ones. Small class jump jets. Three damaged small class jump jets. Nope. 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 Um, hmm. TSM, I'll keep. Six per mech, it's quite easy to get through. High grade jump jets are always worth keeping. I don't need all these small ones anymore. I've got I've got ten of the high grade small jump jet. The improved one. Why would I ever need any standard ones? Although they do weigh slightly less, but I can't even see myself making light mechs. Okay, that's a good clean out. That buys us three, uh, three financials, and to be honest, I mean, we've not taken any damage in the last mission at all. We can just redeploy to another mission and carry on making money. The number one reason why I clean out weapons and things that I'm not using is it actually improves the performance of your game, and it lowers loading times, in case you weren't aware of that. That is a real thing. They have stated that the latest um, patch does fix part of that problem. And what I mean to say is that having tons and tons of save games apparently doesn't cause your, your, your play to lock up like it used to. But we, you know, that remains to be seen. I'm not on the beta branch yet trying out the new patch because I'm busy doing this for you guys so there we go they've changed the the exp has been changed so it's very difficult to actually get to rank 10 this is a very slow climb here still very solid we have just enough money to pay our financials f twice and have a third month after that so but with with no damage taken we can just carry on doing missions so join me next time for the next contract we will once again do a hard contract and we will probably win I'm pretty sure that we're gonna win I might do the raiding party just because I hate base defense missions but we could do the base defense mission. We could take the risk on the base defense mission, but I generally don't like them. I would prefer to just do a straight up battle and fill that last bay. And just to remind everybody, filling the last bay with an assault is just a matter of finding one piece of certain variants of assault mech. 
so if we check our storage and we restrict to assaults I only need one piece of a stalker I only need one piece of a banshee so if either of those two mechs appear that's it we win unless of course I lose a mech which strikes me as unlikely but that is a possibility so just something to think about there and a lot of these are potential captures on the right mission so yeah it is it is what it is join me next time and uh, maybe we win it took 39 episodes to uh, complete the AC2 campaign so it's going to be close we're down to the wire Ooh. there we go right join me next time see ya